गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन टूडेज क्लास वी शैल रीड द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी द लिटिल गर्ल इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी वी हैव सीन दैट द लिटिल गर्ल कीजिया इज कॉल्डेड बाई हर फादर फॉर टीयरिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पेपर्स बिलोंगिंग टू हिम एज अ रिजल्ट शी इज वेरी अपसेट एंड शी गोज टू हर रूम Let us see what she does there. Crying too much to explain, she lay in the shadowed room watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor. Now after being scolded by her father, she was very much upset. She was crying so much that she was unable to explain why she had torn those pages what was her actual purpose what she had wanted to make with them therefore she lay in her room which was almost very dark and she was watching the evening light the evening light was coming through the window and it was making some pattern on the floor and the pattern appeared to be a sad one for the little girl kizia look at this picture students so she lay in such a dark room and everything seemed to be very gloomy or the atmosphere appeared to be very sad then father came into the room with a ruler in his hands so suddenly kizia's father came into her room carrying a ruler with himself and he said to the girl i am going to beat you for this so for what did her father want to beat her for what she had done that she had destroyed some of her father's important documents and therefore kizia's father wanted to punish her she said oh no no she screamed hiding under the bed clothes now when the little girl saw her father being very angry and holding a ruler in his hand she became frightened and so she cried in fear and tried to hide herself under the bed clothes now what are bed clothes the bed sheets with which we cover ourselves in times of sleeping he pulled them aside now in spite of the girl having hidden herself under the bed clothes her father removed those bed clothes sit up he ordered and hold out your hands you must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you now the father ordered kizia to stand up and hold out her hands he said that kizia must be taught a lesson and she must learn that she should not touch anything which did not belong to her but it was for your birthday now the girl was about to give an explanation what she was doing with those pages why did she tear them but before the girl could say something down came the ruler on her little pink palms now before the girl could give any explanation her father hit the girl with his ruler on her pink palms what are palms students the front flat area of our hand now she was a little girl and the palms of her hands had a pink color hours later when grandmother had wrapped her in a shawl and rocked her in the rocking chair the child clung to her soft body now after an hour or two kizia's grandmother came and wrapped her in her shawl wrapping means students to cover and shawl it's a piece of fabric worn in winter now rocked means students rocked means moved backward and forward or from side to side to make a baby sleep 
Now the grandmother was trying to put her to sleep. Now she was rocking her sitting in the rocking chair. Now what's a rocking chair students? It also moves back and forth. Look at this picture. The child clung to her soft body. Now clung means attached to something. What did God make fathers for? She sobbed. Now Kezia was still crying and wondering why God made fathers because she was not at all pleased with her father. She thought God should not make fathers. Here is a clean hanky darling. Blow your nose. Go to sleep pet. You will forget all about it in the morning. I tried to explain to father but he was too upset to listen tonight. Now Kezia's grandmother gave her a clean handkerchief. Now hanky is the short form of handkerchief. Look at this picture. So giving Kezia a clean hanky, her grandmother advised her to blow her nose. That is to wipe her nose. And the grandmother also said, go to sleep pet. You will forget all about it in the morning. Now Kezia's grandmother lovingly called her pet and she wanted Kezia to go to bed and sleep. She said that Kezia would forget everything about what had happened by tomorrow in the morning. The grandmother even said that she had tried to explain the reason to Kezia's father. But her father was so upset that he was unwilling to listen to it. But the child never forgot. Next time she saw him, she quickly put both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheeks. Now although the grandmother assured Kezia that she would forget all about it, the next day she could not forget anything. And since then, whenever Kezia saw her father, she immediately kept both of her hands behind her back and her face grew red because of fear and nervousness. The McDonald's lived next door. They had five children. Looking through a gap in the fence, the little girl saw them playing tag in the evening. The father with the baby Mao on his shoulders, two little girls hanging onto his coat pockets ran round and round the flower beds, shaking with laughter. Once she saw the boys turn the hose on him and he tried to catch them laughing all the time. Now here we get an account of Kezia's neighbor. Now the family that lived the next door was the family of McDonald's. Mr. McDonald's had five children and one day the little girl Kezia was looking through a gap in the fence and she saw Mr. McDonald's was playing with his five children. They were playing the game called tag. Now what kind of game is this? This is a children's game of catching one another. The father with the baby Mao on his shoulders. Now the youngest among them was Mao and Mao was sitting on the shoulders of Mr. McDonald's. Two other little girls were hanging on to his coat pockets, ran round and round the flower beds, shaking with laughter. So they were all having fun. They were all playing with their father. Once she saw the boys turn the horse on him. Now Kezia even saw that his two sons turned the horse on him. Now what is a horse? It's a kind of water pipe with which we water the plants in a garden. Look at this picture students. So such a kind of pipe is called a hose pipe and he tried to catch them 
laughing all the time now when the two boys tried to make mr mcdonald's drenched with water mr mcdonald's ran after them to catch them therefore all the children were very happy and making fun with their father look at this picture then it was she decided there were different sorts of fathers so after observing the family of mcdonald's kizia came to a conclusion that there were different kinds of fathers all fathers were not alike suddenly one day mother became ill and she and grandmother went to hospital so one day kizia's mother became ill and she went to the hospital with kizia's grandmother the little girl was left alone in the house with alice the cook that was all right in the day time but while alice was putting her to bed she grew suddenly afraid now when kizia's mother and grandmother went to the hospital she was left behind alone in the house under the care of alice who was their cook now there was no problem in the day time but at night while alice was putting kizia to her bed she grew afraid why so kizia asked alice what will i do if i have a nightmare now nightmare is a bad dream that we dream at night so kizia asked alice what she would do if she had a nightmare kizia also said i often have nightmares and then granny takes me into her bed i can't stay in the dark it all gets whispery so kizia informed alice that whenever she had nightmares or when she woke up suddenly after a bad dream it is her grandmother who used to take her into her bed now it was utterly impossible for the little girl kizia to sleep alone in the dark she thought she could hear some whispering sounds or some dreadful sounds she would feel that there was as if someone around you just go to sleep child said alice pulling off her shorts and don't you scream and wake your poor pa now alice said you just go to sleep and she pulled off kizia's shorts and alice also said to her not to cry and wake up her father alice knew that kizia's father was certainly tired and what he needed was a good sleep but the same old nightmare came the butcher with a knife and a rope who came nearer and nearer smiling that dreadful smile while she could not move could only stand still crying out grandma grandma she woke shivering to see father beside her bed a candle in his hand now what happened thereafter while kizia was sleeping alone once again she had that nightmare the bad dream and in her dream she saw the butcher with a knife and a rope approaching her coming towards her now who is a butcher a butcher is a person who slaughters animals or one who chops meat in a meat shop now in her dream she saw the butcher was coming towards her and coming nearer and nearer and the butcher was smiling a dreadful smile means a smile full of terror while she could not move kizia saw in her dream that she was trying hard to move back but she was unable to move she could stand still so she was unable to move from her place and she woke up crying grandma grandma kizia actually wanted her grandma to come to her she woke shivering to see father beside her bed a candle in his hand 
Shivering means trembling with fear. Now the little girl Kizia woke up and found that her father was standing beside her bed and he was holding a candle in his hand. What's the matter? he said. Oh, a butcher, a knife, I want granny. So when the father wanted to know what had happened to her, Kizia replied that in her dream she had seen a butcher with a knife. Kizia also told that she wanted her grandmother to come to her. He blew out the candle, bent down and caught up the child in his arms, carrying her along the passage to the big bedroom. Thereafter, what did the father do? Kizia's father blew out the candle and bent down and caught up the child in his arms. Means he held her daughter in her arms. Then he lifted her up and went to his bigger bedroom. A newspaper was on the bed. So a newspaper was lying on the bed of his father. He put away the paper. So Kizia's father put the newspaper away, then carefully tucked up the child. Tucked up means covered up nicely in bed. He lay down beside her, half asleep still, still with the butcher smile, all about her it seemed. She crept close to him, snuggled her head under his arm, held tightly to his shirt. Then Kizia's father lay down beside the girl. Kizia was still half asleep and as if she could still see that butcher's smile. Then Kizia crept close to him, means Kizia moved slowly closer to her father, snuggled her head under his arm, means moved into a warm comfortable position close to another person. So Kizia wanted to get secured under her father's arms, held tightly to his shirt. And then she held her father's shirt in a tight manner. Then the dark did not matter. She lay still. Here, rub your feet against my legs and get them warm, said father. So in the very next moment, she was no more afraid of the darkness and she became still. The father said, Here, rub your feet against my legs and get them warm. So Kizia's father said to her that she could rub her feet against his legs so that they would get warm. Tired out, he slept before the little girl. Now the father, because of being much tired, fell asleep earlier than Kizia. A funny feeling came over her. Poor father, not so big after all and with no one to look after him. Now Kizia felt an emotional attachment with her father. She was as if sorry for cherishing that wrong opinion about her father. Now she found her father to be all very good. She also appeared to be concerned about her father. She thought there was no one to look after him. He was harder than grandmother, but it was a nice hardness. Kizia knew that her father was harder than her grandmother, but her father's hardness was quite nice. And every day he had to work and was too tired to be Mr. McDonald. Kizia also realized that her father used to work very hard and therefore she got tired and so he could never play like Mr. MacDonald. She had torn up all his beautiful writing. She also realized what harm she had done to her father by tearing up those important documents. She also came to understand how important those papers were to her father. She stirred suddenly and shied. So when Kizia had such feelings, she jerked a little and took a long breath. Shied means took a long breath. Now that long breath might be because of her realization. 
What's the matter? asked father. Another dream. Now when Kizia took a long breath, her father woke up and asked Kizia, "Did you have another nightmare?" "Oh," said the little girl, "my head is on your heart." She replied to her father that she had kept her head on his heart. Something like this. I can hear it going. What a big heart you have got, father dear. She told her father that she could hear his heart beat and she also came to realize that her father had a big heart. What does this mean students? Kizia wanted to say that her father's heart was full of love and affection for her. So we have also observed what views and opinions Kizia had earlier for her father and what she is feeling now. At the same time, Kizia has of course come to know why her father was strict that night. He only wanted Kizia to learn an important lesson that would benefit her in the future. So here we have completed the second part of the story, The Little Girl. Hope all of you have understood it very clearly. See you all in the next class. Thank you.